wanted to pop on really quick to introduce this video. So this is the eighth video in my Create Your Own Planner series. In this video, I'm going to walk through how I create um, four pages for a mid-year review. Um, this is just if you if you tend to be like somebody who sets a lot of goals and you like a lot of writing space and you want to evaluate them mid-year, this might be something you'd want to include in your own journal or planner. Um, if you are not interested in seeing me like cr create everything, go ahead and just fast forward to the end and you'll see the categories that I'll typically use for my mid-year review. And if you, as always, if you have any questions or comments, please pop them in the comments. So one of the things I really like to do when I'm creating my bullet journal or my own um, planner is making sure I include a mid-year review. I'm somebody who sets goals. I set a lot of goals and I set them in a lot of different count, um, categories throughout the year. And so one of the things I like to do is revisit my goals mid-year. So around end of June, early July, I will sit down and I will go through this exercise of reviewing um, my goals. And so what I'm going to do is show you um, how I lay them out and the topics or categories that I use. So again, I have an Excel Moleskin notebook and um, this is the grid. Here's June, the calendar month of June. And so what I do is I'm going to have one, two, three, four pages specifically set up for my mid-year review. And each page is going to have two sections. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get started. And so I'm gonna count down three from the top and one over. And again, I don't use these partial squares on the side. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just start drawing a horizontal line across the top and to almost the end. Then I like to create my little beveled edge. Do that over here as well. Then over here for my um, little tag, I'm going to actually make a little diagonal. And this I'm gonna allow for 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right there. I'll do the same thing and almost create like a arrow. And so this is where the category is going to go. And at the top here, I've left enough space and I'm going to be writing 2021 mid-year review. So then from here, I'm going to count down to, I'm going to count down 22 squares. And again, I don't worry so much about the pencil marks being perfect because I fix all that when I go over with my black pen. Here's the first square. Then I'm going to jump down one more. I'm going to put a little dot here. And this is going to be the space for the category. Then I'll take the top over to the end. And obviously this will go all the way to the bottom. So I'm going to repeat this process on the next three pages and it's going to mirror this other page.
Okay, now I'm gonna go everything, go over everything with a black marker. Make it look nice and then write in my categories. Okay, so here's what I typically do is I will take um, basically the vision that I had and my goals for my annual review or my annual goal setting. And obviously I've been working through things from January through Ju or June or July-ish timeframe. And then what I wanna do is really kind of look, cause life changes, things happen, COVID happens, things like that and really kind of capture, okay, what did I complete? Like, what are the things that I can be celebrating as far as goals around projects or personal goals? And then what things are currently in progress? And then I will also, I like to identify pivots. So if something happens that's beyond my control or maybe unexpected an opportunity comes up, I want to capture, okay, well, I was gonna do X, but decided to do Y because of this reason. And just kind of capturing that pivot. Then I will list things that are no longer relevant as a, maybe as a result of those pivots or other things that have happened in life. And then I will list, list additional goals. So has anything changed that um, has now added new goals or new projects that I would like to try to get done um, before December or at least start working on? And then what I'll do is I create some time bound goals. So what would I like to focus on July through December, kind of resetting my mind frame on what, what am I really truly focusing on? Because again, it might have been different. It might be different in June or July than it was in January. What do I want to really knock out of the park in 30 days? Like, is there something that I can do to get the ball rolling in the next 30 days? And then what would I like to have done in the next 90 days? And this helps me reset. Um, for the next page, which is getting into the third quarter. So what I will do is, you know, I, obviously I create a lot of writing space. I like plenty of writing sp space so that I can say the whys and the hows and the reasons of why I've maybe made decisions um, or maybe even kind of using it as a little bit of journaling to kind of write things out, to kind of think things through. But then what I'll do is I'll take these and I will carry it over to my quarterly goals for July through September. And then I will also carry some of this over into the July monthly planning template, so, or layout. So that's how I do my mid-year review. Again, I like lots of writing space. Some people may prefer to do um, smaller, you know, but I like lots of pages so I can just write everything out, so. Anyway, thanks for listening to this video or watching this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and pop them in the comments.